Hello guys, Michaela here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. Today we are building a modern loft in the world of Mount Komorebi that is very much inspired by Japanese architecture. I think especially the ex uh, interior, sorry, the exterior is a bit more Scandi, I think. So it's kind of, I think the exterior is kind of like a mix between Scandi and kind of the Japanese style. While the interior, I really try to use a lot of items that came with Snowy Escape, which is the pack that um, came with, uh, that the Mount Komorebi world comes with, that the Japanese kind of style comes with. Um, so I really try to use that a lot in on the interior and in the exterior is kind of like a mix between Scandi and... Um, Japanese, I think. And I really love how it just turned out. I especially love using this uh, wood, uh, sorry, this roof texture that I used from Snowy Escape. It's beautiful. The blue color is just gorgeous. And I was so excited that I got to use it um, here because it's just, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant and I love it so much. And I hope you uh, guys are going to like it uh, too. It's uh, built on a 30 by 20. It's the 242 Wakam Waka Ram. <laughs> I'm sorry. I the, the screen on my computer is a bit blurred when I'm recording voiceovers. And I genuinely can't read. So it's 242 Waka Bamori, I think. I think that's what it says. It's basically in like the lower area uh, of Mount Komorebi. Um, yeah, it's a totally by I think you can place it anywhere, but this is the lot that I built uh, it on. And the house is for two sims. It's a lofted space, so you could technically kind of close the loft and add an extra bedroom upstairs, but I just wanted to have it open. I've been really loving lofted spaces, uh, basically, because I've you have this one, then I have, the next week I have another loft and then I'm working on kind of the duplexes in my Evergreen Harbor and they have loft too. So I've been a bit obsessed with lofts, uh, basically. Um, so it's for two sims, you could technically make it for more if you wanted to because there would be space for that. And... The house comes in at 61,482 simoleons, so it's not expensive, but it's not cheap either. So it's kind of like, I think, a middle ground uh, here as well. I also, because I have the lofted spaces, I wanted to kind of create kind of like a support beams and uh, columns. So I used, uh, I think, ones from Seasons and columns from Snowy Escape that kind of create this support structure for the loft, which is completely unnecessary for The Sims because it doesn't work like in real life. But I felt like for the touch of realism, it would be really cool to, to do that. So, yeah. I have been... I've talked about it in my past videos. I've been kind of in the process of studying for my finals at university and haven't had much time to build. I'm cool. I'm kind of pre-recording this voiceover. So it's actually Saturday and the video is coming out in like six days because um, I might go away throughout the week and I don't know when exactly. So I just wanted to have this done so that I don't have to worry about it if I decide to go away on like Wednesday or something like that because uh, yeah, it's just like, I, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to go away. So I wanted to have it done and recorded and uploaded and ready so that I don't have to worry about it because I've been studying a lot and I initially intended to study today as well, but after um, trying for a couple of hours, I realized that I need a break from studying at least for today. So I decided to take a break and I'm just kind of giving the time to Sims and also some work around the house. I've been, uh, I cleaned, I helped my mom unload uh, and load the um, washing machine and the dryer. Uh, I might iron some stuff later on. So it's just like kind of like a rest and kind of other things that are productive day uh, rather than um, studying because I really just needed to take some time off from just reading my notes and thinking about it and trying to remember. Um, yes, 
and I'm also using the time uh, away from my boyfriend uh, because he he has family this weekend, so I'm not uh, I didn't go over to his place, so or he didn't come here either. So I'm just taking I'm trying to use the time that I have to kind of prepare for the upcoming weeks because um, kind of the the dates between which I can have my exams is between 20th of May and 14th of um, June. So it's quite a big time kind of window. So I don't know when I will be done. So I just want to have as much done because I might be totally stressed out before my exams and I don't, uh, I won't have time to build. So I want to be as prepared as possible because I really want to keep my schedule going. I don't want to mess it up because I really worked hard on kind of keeping a uh, creating schedule that I can keep up with. So yeah, uh, uh, that's what I'm kind of working on right now. Uh, anyway, I talked over the landscaping. As always, I'm trying to keep the landscaping cohesive with the rest of the world. So I use mostly things that came with the Snowy Escape um, expansion pack. So landscaping that came with that pack so that it fits nicely with the world. And as you could see, I also placed a hot spring in here because I didn't really want to do a pool. Uh, because I felt like it was not fitting with the build that I did, like with the idea that I had for this. Uh, so yeah, that's why I decided to place a hot spring and I really love how that uh, turned out. It, it gives the sims somewhere to go, but it's not like swimming, you can just hang out and have fun, uh, which I thought was really cool. I also placed a couple of sunbeds so the sims can kind of go outside and enjoy the sun. And I think I also placed a car from the debug menu as well, because I had the space here I, and I didn't really know what to do with it, because I placed some planters and also a swing in the kind of side yard area. Uh, so I didn't want to place anything more here. I usually, when I'm building, I place kind of kit stuff on the exterior, but obviously there are no kits in here, so I uh, didn't do that because it would be <clears throat> pointless. Right, so I did place a swing, but I think um, even adults can play on a swing, so that's fine. I think I love swings and I'm 25, <laughs> so I think I'm happy uh, with that. I stand by my choice of placing uh, a swing uh, at a lot for two adults. Um, here I am working on the bathroom, which is the only bathroom in the entire house. It's fairly small, but it has everything your sims uh, might need. And here we are working on the kitchen. I think I ended up using counters from Dream Home Decorator, which I love ever since we got the pack. I've loved ever since we got the pack. I use them all the time. So yeah, uh, it was an obvious choice. And I had kind of this vision of creating, uh, because I love the counters that we got with Snowy Escape, but they're just very, I don't know how to call it. I just don't like the fact that they're open, basically. I know that a lot of people have been asking for open counters before we got them in Snowy Escape, but for me, I just don't like cluttering them out because it's a lot of work. You know, there's a lot of space in them and I just don't like it. So that's why I decided to go for counters from the Dream Home Decorator pack rather than um, from Snow Escape, even though I really like them, but just not my vibe. And also I've been overusing the appliances that we got with the Home Chef Hustle stuff pack because they're absolutely gorgeous. I love that the... Um, the fridge actually fits on their cabinets so yeah i've been using them obsessively ever since we got the pack and i don't think i'll stop anytime soon <laughs> um i'm also kind of changing uh, the layout of the 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 kitchen a little bit because i wasn't happy with how it's looking oh i ended up using different ones i <laughs> okay that I did not see that coming. So I I ended up using the appliances that came with Snowy Escape instead of the ones that came with um, the Home Chef Hustle Kit. So yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's a nice change of pace because I've been overusing those and I didn't even remember that I changed them here, to be honest. So yeah. Um, anyway, so, uh, I was really excited to come back and work um, on the build in Mount Komorebi again because I haven't built here for a while. I wanted to, but I wasn't inspired very much, but I think I stumbled upon an inspiration picture on Pinterest, I want to say. 
and I was very inspired to build something like this and I am really glad how it turned out. It really was a lot of fun but working with uh, the items that came with Snowy Escape. I think it's, you know, when we get new packs it's easy to get kind of caught up in the new items that we get but I think it's really cool or really nice to come back through older packs and kind of remind just ourselves what uh, we have in the older packs because you know I have a almost full collection or when it comes to build buy stuff I have a full collection and so it's a lot of it's 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 easy to forget that you have certain items so it's nice to kind of come back to some or use some that you don't use very often uh yeah so it's it's nice to get out of the comfort zone every now and then i also made this really cool kind of bar area uh with this um kind of corner piece uh that uh, of of the counters and i really love that um there is a I want to say there is, a, oh no, there is a, not like a proper normal dining space, but there is, a, I think I placed a katatsu table um, pretty much where the entrance to the home is. So there is the traditional um, kind of table for the Japanese culture, but I also made sure to place the bar stools so your sims could sit there uh, as well instead. So I wanted to keep the fireplace where I placed the chimney. So initially I thought it would be a living room, but I just didn't really see it in here. So I decided to make this into the dining space instead, which is bigger than the living room. But I felt like maybe these people are really into food and they love to maybe entertain. So then that's why the dining space is um, sort of like the most important room in the house the, the one that they maybe spend the most time on when um finishing this place and i really liked that idea yeah so here i'm just adding some decorations so that it feels more lived in and just like overall um uh, i don't know like fuller because i think i've got i've actually gotten quite a few comments on my bills in the past or even like today that i really I do I clutter I love cluttering but I clutter in a way that looks realistic but it's not over cluttering right it's not overpowering it's not too much and I, I hmm, when I think about it that's kind of because I don't like clutter in real life either I like having things like decorations but I don't like it too much because then it's very hard to clean and it's not very practical so i really love that people notice that about my builds because that's kind of exactly what i'm trying to do but i don't think i realized that it's something i am doing if that makes sense <laughs> i'm not sure it makes sense honestly but basically what i'm trying to say is that i want my builds to be cluttered to feel that they are lived in but i don't want them to be overpowering and over cluttered because then i feel like it's not that realistic because who actually wants to have kind of that sort of uh home right yeah no, just my thought process basically. Um, here I'm just adding some paintings, some lights, and I think we're going to move on to the living room, which is going to be just left like here when uh, where I am right now. Um, I initially made it less closed off, but I think I ended up uh, making it a lot more closed off in the end uh, because... I'm not sure why because I think it just worked out the way with couches and chairs and things like that um yeah I think that's yeah because I wanted to place uh more uh couches and things like that and on the other side of this wall is where I'm going to place um so like a work office area so there's going to be a office table and I think also spaces or like things for a cat. So apart from the two sims that you could move in here, you could also move a cat in here as well. I'm not sure if I, I all, sorry. <laughs> I did place a letter box, which is uh, accessible through the door to the kind of backyard. So the back door and then to the left of the door, there is a, a letter box that your cat could use. So. There is a litter box because sometimes I tend to forget uh, to place things like a litter box, but I did place it in here. So 
you could move in a family or like a couple here with a cat if you wanted to because uh, I love adding animals into houses like stuff for animals into houses because I personally have a dog um, he is a sweetheart we love him uh, all so much he is just the best thing uh, ever uh, so yeah for me animals are a natural part of a household uh, because I've had one for well 14 years uh, our dog turned 14 just like a month ago or like not even like 14 days ago so he's quite old but he's still very active so hopefully you'll stay with us for uh some more time anyway yeah that's why i love to add um animal stuff in my builds because i feel like they're just naturally a part of households um anyway so here i am adding a light that i think came with the growing together pack uh, that's very big, but I because it's the lofted space, I really wanted to add a big fixture that would really emphasize kind of the height of this space because the uh, living room is open to the upstairs. So I felt like it would be really nice to kind of draw the eye up to the fixture that's on the ceiling, um, which... I mean, the Sims don't really care about it, but I do care about it. So that's why I did that. And here we are working on the office area. I chose um, a computer from the high school years pack. And I imagine maybe that one of the Sims maybe streams something. Maybe it's just their hobby. So they kind of stream something for fun uh, for people uh, to watch. And I, I really like that idea because I'm not sure if you can uh, kind of do that if you can uh, stream for fun um, in the game but yeah it was uh, a lot of fun so I really enjoyed uh, adding that into uh, the home and now we're finished with the downstairs and now we're going to move on to the upstairs which is basically just the uh, the bedroom space and i use items from the um snow escape pack here as well as well as other uh stuff but mostly a snow escape and yeah that's almost it for today's video if you want to download this build you can get it on the gallery my id is michaela sims yt or you can get the trade files in the description box below as always on my uh ko-fi page thank you so much uh for watching this video with me today if you don't want to miss miss any of my future uploads please uh, subscribe to the channel and yeah have a great day and i will see you in my next one bye i've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago